Step by step, Newport is being transformed and the first project in this multi-million pound regeneration is complete. Newport's new five million pound foot and cycle bridge is now open. On both sides of the river, the landscape is changing. Constructed at Roll Court here in Newport, this latest crossing of the River Usk links both the east and the west sides of the city and will play an important role in taking people straight into Newport's new retail centre, which is currently undergoing a more than £200 million facelift. And for Newport City Council, working together with the urban regeneration company Newport Unlimited, this is just one of 50 projects that will roll out between now and the Ryder Cup. In fact, all around the city centre, the regeneration of Newport is clearly well underway, as certain areas such as Kingsway, Queensway and Newport Railway Station are all either finished or nearing completion. Over the next four years, up to 2012, it is anticipated that about 3,000 new homes will be built across the city. Many of these will be built on the large brownfield sites situated along the banks of the Usk to the east of the city, in a major expansion focused on the redundant part of the Landworm Steelworks, together with land to the north and in the city centre. Regeneration will be a catalyst for further business expansion and the new southern distributor route linking junctions 24 and 28 to the heart of the city, together with plans for the M4 relief road, will have a major impact in encouraging new business into Newport as well as helping existing businesses to maximise their capital and distribution potential. Because in terms of business growth, these are exciting times for Newport. Newport is in fact recognised as being ranked 7th in the economic growth cities of the UK, as well as being the greenest city in the UK. And Newport has the second lowest council tax in Wales and one of the lowest in the UK. Small wonder then that so many businesses have selected Newport as the most ideal place to locate their operations. Over the two-year period up to 2005, nearly £200 million worth of private sector commercial investment has created almost 3,000 jobs and the Council's Economic Development Unit handled over 1,500 commercial inquiries over the same two-year period, helping create more than 1,500 jobs, with businesses as diverse as Acorn Recruitment at Clapper Park to the family-run Gamelli's Desserts in the city centre. Finito! Finito. Finito. Job done. The friend, high school. We didn't have trendy tops like that when I was in. He's not taking you, don't worry. He's got this thing about cameras. It's okay, so you're my sound man, yeah? <laughs> Point it that way. I'm Munira Mizada, I'm from Afghanistan. I, I come six months ago. I like my school. I want to be a doctor and help people. And I think uh, my teachers will help me in this. Thanks. Well, they need a bit of security, these, these children, because they've all been through a bit of trauma in their lives, a lot of trauma, actually. I'm Jan Cartwright, and I work at Dufferin High School for GEMS, and we support children from other countries whose first language is in English. I'm Moon Jahan from Bangladesh. I'm here for one year. I'm reading in Dufferin High School in year 10. I'm doing my GCSE coursework, and it's really nice. In recent months, we've had children from all over the world, from trouble spots all over the world, um, and from Africa, Afghanistan, Korea, China. Um, this has been new for us, and we have about 30 of those children all together. You tell her what it is, OK? So you all speak individually. You say you have no idea yet. They're all amazingly bright children, speaking four or five languages, most of them, and they all want to be um, in a professional job doctors, nurses, engineers. So if they are allowed to stay in this country, they can make a real contribution.
Hi, my name's Bethan, I'm a youth worker. I work for Newport Youth Service. We provide informal educational opportunities and activities for young people aged 11 to 25 across the city. We work with them in a variety of settings which include neighbourhood youth clubs, youth workers in schools, the Duke of Edinburgh's awards, crime prevention programmes to supporting young people into education, training and employment. As youth workers we're here to help and encourage young people to reach their full potential as individuals. Hi, I'm Kelly, I'm President of the Newport Youth Council um, and with the help of the youth workers and the info shop I was able to become part of the NYC or Newport Youth Council um, and it's really helped give my community or the youth in my community a voice. We've got a day called um, Talk Back MP19 and um, that's basically people in my community have come together and organised the day. It gives you an opportunity to like say what they think of our community and like how it can be changed and things like that. Hi, my name's Farah. I'm Vice President of Newport Youth Council. Um, I'm also a member of the Streets Ahead project. It's based on young Asian girls. It's aimed at young Asian girls and um, they've taught us how to do things such as sewing skills. We've also learned how to swim. Um, all the youth workers in the youth service are um, non-judgmental and they're really empathetic to your situation so they can help you out regardless of what your background is. If you'd like to find out more information, you can pop along to our information shop.